to call my underrated recommendation it is basically I take a movie that is underrated or unknown or am I calling this one unknown recommendation I'll call it underrated recommendation anyway uh, I'm recommend it's basically where I take movies that good movies that I like and uh, that I think that are movies that you guys would like to see or maybe they just are really good movies and I want to see people to see more about see more of them. Um, the movie that I am here to talk about, my first one, is The Rocket. Now, um, the first couple of my underrated recommendations that I'm going to be talking about are, are uh, Canadian movies. They're movies either about Canadian heroes or about uh, Canadian stories. But I'll go on to others. I, like, I only have two picked out right now of uh, movies that I'm going to review for this underrated recommendation. I got stuff saying that. Anyway. Uh, the Rocket. Let me just tell you who The Rocket is for those who don't know. Back in the day, really back in the day, I'm talking about way back before Wayne Gretzky, before Bobby Orr, in the days of Gordy Howe, <laughs> I don't know, you might not know who that is. Anyway, The Rocket, his, his name was uh, Maurice Fichard. He was a French Canadian who, who stunned the hockey world. See, it's a, it's a story about this, this guy who becomes one of the greatest hockey players that ever lived. Becomes one of the greatest, and, and the reason that it's important to make a movie on that, like, like, sure, why just make a movie on this guy? Because he's a great hockey player. No, it's more the fact that okay, Maurice Michard was French. He was a French Canadian, and it was around this time where there was a lot of bitterness towards French Canadians. There was a lot of uh, you know um, class um, class class clashes sort of thing and you know where people were more worried about um if their daughter could marry a rich person rather than someone that they actually loved sort of thing um the movie starts out with R Maurice as a, a young teenager and he's working in a shop a, 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 a factory and uh, he works there for most of his life and he plays hockey and um, this movie really shows how the times. It's really a times movie, but it's also a good story. It, it has a it shows a really good love story with him and his what his wife, and how you know sometimes she really worries about him because as he gets more and more popular, and how as he becomes more and more uh, more and more better at hockey, people. He becomes more and more of a target, and because there's so many uh, people that are racist—not really racist, but you know, prejudiced to French Canadians—you uh, know, a lot of things went were going wrong for him. Like back then, it all depended on your your hockey status. You know, if you were a big star, and some of the bigger guys started beating on you. The referees would protect you, like, hey, just leave him alone. Or the NHL would bas basically protect you and make sure that you didn't get hurt because, you know, the, the NHL's in there to make money, and if you are one of their biggest stars, they're not going to want you to get hurt. However, since he was a French Canadian, they made sure they, 
They let every they basically let people get away with murder. And um pe like it starts out with uh, him and people thinking that he'll probably not even be able to play because he'd been he's been injured before in minor league hockey. And then comes in one of the what I think is probably one of the greatest movie coaches ever. I mean, it's, you know, you see a lot of movie coaches that are like, Don't worry. It doesn't matter that we lost. As long as we gave it our best, it has fun. This guy was like, I hate to lose. I'm here to win, win, win. And, it's, and, he's, and he's so funny in a way, like, um... He's talking to, like, the manager or something. He's like, I need players who hate to lose. One of the players shows up, I hate to lose, sir. He's like, no, you don't. How oh, Maurice Richard is such an amazing hockey player. And everyone else says, oh, he's too weak. He'll, he'll never last in the NHL. He'll be slaughtered. Uh, and then, uh, no, but he, he can see his, his, his love of the game and how he can play it better than anyone at the time. My favorite scene in this movie is right after this. You see Maria Shark get slashed here twice and then hit in the head. Just after this scene, Richard loses it and punches a few people. And then the police play the a visit. We're here for Mr. Richard. Everything's under control. We need to talk to Maurice. This concerns the NHL. We're not leaving here without Maurice. Yes, you are. This is a powerful move. Now, it is in French and in English. Like the uh, the French player, the French Canadians speak in French, and and the English speak in English. But uh, you know, it, it's just that's the way it, it is, right? Uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, but uh, it, it 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 addresses a lot of the issues that French Canadians were dealing with at that time. How like they felt real? They were like felt really crummy about themselves. And uh, there's a scene in it where he's just talking to his barber, and he's actually thinking about quitting at this point. And he's thinking, and the barber is like, you know, a lot of French Canadians aren't feeling good about themselves right now. We're down. We don't get accepted in the uh, in a lot of jobs. We have to do the grunt work. And a lot of Canadian, French Canadians feel that if we can't win out here in the world, at least we can win out there on the ice, sort of thing. It has a lot of nice moments, like the part where he gets accepted in the NHL. And especially the coach who eggs him on all the time by not just saying, come on, you can do it. He's like, you worthless piece, I don't even know why I signed you. If you want to prove me wrong, then do it. And later on, it shows that Maurice showed, scored five goals because <laughs> of that. And uh, it's just, it's a really well-written sports drama. It's one of the best sports movies I've ever seen. Guys, this, I don't know where, besides C Canadians, we can probably find this around. I don't know where you guys would find it. You might have to order it or something. Who knows, maybe you'd find it in a video rental store or could uh, order it from a library. This movie is a really good movie, and um, if if you don't mind reading subtitles, then it shouldn't be a problem for you. And it can just show how this one man sparked a whole nation and took took it by storm just by playing a game. And it's as I said before, hockey's not just a game for Canadians. And the Rocket is one of the, I mean, the actual Maurice Richard is one of the pivotal points in hockey history. Like, this is what I always say. Or no, show me a great hockey player and I'll show you a good movie. Sort of thing. Because every great hockey player has a story. Every great hockey player has a story. Not saying that 
good hockey players don't have a story either. I mean, of course they do. So this is my underrated recommendation, The Rocket. The man who took a nation by storm. So, what do I give it? Oh, I guess I give it a... 8 out of 10. I need to find some bad movies and bad comic books to review because I'm never giving anything lower than a 7. Maybe I'll do another, you know, I'll do an underrated uh, recommendation. Maybe I'll do an overrated it piece is of the card. Friday, that would be funny. Anyway, so remember guys, I'm lazy to 99. If I don't like it, man, it's not worth it. So, see you around. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel. And wait for more.